I plugged it in for an hour, and actually it got too hot. I got up to uh, 175 on the side away from the element, and uh, all the way up to almost 190 on the other side. Like I said before, getting over 180 is too much. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and still use it. It'll, it may, it'll probably still work out. But uh, what I recommend definitely now is if you're putting less water in this barrel and it's going to heat up so fast, go ahead and heat the water up all the way to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which I believe is 81 Celsius. And uh, then just put the cottonseed hulls or straw, whatever substrate you're using, and put the tarps over it, keep the heat in, and don't plug it back in because it's going to heat up probably too fast. But anyhow, let's empty this batch. So I'll take out this block, this chuck in the front. And I'll take out the blocks that are inside it. Be careful too when you put these blocks in that you're not going to uh, put them right over where the heating element is so it bends it. That would be bad. going to shake off the excess holes on the screen that are on top of it, then reposition it so it's over top of everything. Like so. All right, let's give it a turn. You can see it's coming out the holes first. Oh, you can see it trying to pop through. Let's the screen up towards it. I think it's doing a pretty good job. I'm, putting a, I'm having to put a little bit of weight to make it roll forward. But otherwise, it's pretty easy. Just make sure that the bottom of the screen doesn't gonna pop out on you. You're gonna lose a, a few holes. That's probably good enough to start loading it, or unloading it rather. So, kick it back a little bit. And there you have it. It's drained enough that it'll be easy to fork out of there and get into my press. So, although it's kind of a crude way of doing it, I think actually it's probably one of the better ways. Just because I don't have a, really an extra bulky piece of equipment like that frame that I got to prop up somewhere. Um, don't have to use a cargo strop. Just have the uh, 
concrete blocks that I've always had. And uh, just two pieces of shelves makes it easy. So there was a little excess water left over, not much. And you can see it's getting pressed out just fine. Again, I'll press this on the first level of my press for 10 minutes, then move it down to the second level for 20 minutes. So I think this idea is going to work great. I'm going to stick to using this barrel and this method. Um, on another note, about a couple weeks ago, it started getting warm again outside, unusually warm, and it rained for about seven days straight. And I had to throw out some more logs because of small heat problems. They just got worse and worse. You see where I still got a few that have some mold on the end of it. But just like you, when it gets really humid and really hot, it's much harder to remove the excess heat. So I decided I really got to get a stronger air conditioner for down here. This one's only 8,000 BTU. I, I need at least a 12,000. But uh, these logs where they've had a better cool start, you can see they don't hardly have any problems at all. And then some of these logs I'm starting to do now where I don't even pack the logs downward. I pretty much kind of leave them loose before I roll them with my rolling pin. And you can see that they end up longer and considerably flatter. So I think I'm going to stick with that because that will dissipate the heat better. But otherwise, things are doing good. It's down to 66 degrees in here today. So I'm happy about that, and I don't expect any, any more days of unusual heat. But it is starting to rain outside quite often, so I'm trying to avoid misting as much of the room as I can, I'm only misting the mushrooms when it's rainy days, that way the humidity stays a bit more manageable down here. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you can make this barrel for yourself. I probably all in all I spent, oh, you can say you get the barrel for $30, the heating element for $25, so that's $55. Then the extra hardware is negligible, maybe like $5 worth. So all in all, it's only about a $60 project if you have the, uh, the wire rack shelves on. So that's what I recommend. Maybe you all can... Uh, show me some better ideas that you've come up with or know someone else that's tried. But I think I'm going to stick with this. Alright, I'll see you next time on Mushroom Adventures.